Hi everyone, I'm back with Pisces reading for the month of August through September. So if you have any Pisces, Pisces placements in your chart, this reading is for you, whether that be sun, moon, rising, Aquarius, Venus, wherever it's located in your chart, this reading is for you. If you happen to be a cross watcher, maybe there's a message here for you, okay. So Pisces, we're going to start out with your overall energy. And your energy is wanting to move towards something or move away from something, okay? Because this card is giving me two meanings. You either want to move towards something or with lots of fiery energy, because this is what this means when you see this. There's a lot of fiery energy. Maybe it's a lot of passion in your part. Or maybe it's pa you're passionate about moving away from something, Okay. Then we get the Eight of Cups in reverse, okay? And this is like universe saying you're not walking away from something that you should be walking away from, okay? Maybe you've decided to go back and look at something or go back and look at someone or go back to a situation or you're keeping yourself stuck in a situation that when you really should be moving from or moving away from or there's a situation that you need to move to, okay? Okay? But what universe is telling me is really moving away from a situation that no longer serves you, okay? Then we have um, the Six of Cups in reverse. So this is not a balanced situation. This is not a situation that's balanced, nor is it profitable for you, okay? Because this is a card of profit too. Um, this situation is not profitable for you. It's not balanced. You're not feeling like you're getting your just due, okay? So there is some imbalance. Um, right now, you're not really taking the time to meditate and contemplate and focus and really connect to the universe so that you can get the answers you need in regards to the situation. And the energy here is telling you to take the time to meditate, take the time to focus. Uh, instead of being stuck in this energy here where you're not taking the time to do this, please do take the time to do this, okay? So this is showing me that right now you need to really get into that, that energy where... You meditate and focus on what's going on and see what's the best direction for you, okay? We have the Six of Wands in reverse. And this is like almost feeling defeated. Feeling like whatever is going on in your life at this moment is not what... It's almost like not what you wanted. Not the direction you wanted it to go. So things are... You're not feeling... Like there's a success here. You're not feeling like it's going the way you hoped it to go. Um, even though you're moving forward with this, um, it's really not, not bringing you that wish fulfillment that you're hoping for. Not bringing you that happiness that you long for, okay? I went ahead and I pulled out some fairy cards to get a little more information. And this, uh, in this, you see this fairy is not very happy. Even though things are happening and she's sitting there on the rock, it's almost like, She's stuck between a hard place here. She's stuck between two things, two situations here. And where, wherever the energy is going, she's not happy with. This talks about immaturity, about not knowing things, about this situation being something uh, probably new or a situation which you're not sure about, you know, because... You're not feeling it completely, okay? So maybe it's something you want to move from, okay? And maybe this is your overall energy. Finding that that fire that you need to move from or to change the situation, okay? Then we get four. And four is about stability. It's about home, family. Maybe there's something going on in the home. Maybe there's something going on in the family. Maybe there's something there that's causing this blockage, causing you to feel like the situation is not working out to the best of your interest. Or maybe it's somewhere that you're stuck in and in a situation that you don't really feel happy about being stuck in. Okay. Then we have 17. This again focuses on family, on you, something, a rebirth or a birth. Maybe there's something happening. Maybe there's a birth in your family. Maybe... There's something new, again, something new that has come about that you're not happy with the situation, you're not happy. Because again, this talks about something new. Then we talk, this is the uh, the last card we got in the fairies is a book. So you're going to have to dig deeper within yourself, within the situation, find the answers that you're looking for. Because it's almost feel like this book is closed. There's a lot, there's a lot that you don't know yet. Maybe there's a lot in your own emotional aspect in regards to this situation. Or maybe there's a lot still... A lot of questions you have, you're not very comfortable with the situation or this new situation that's here. 
Maybe you're not comfortable with something that's happening in your family at this point and you're not comfortable where you're at. But this is telling you to dig a little deeper, go into yourself, uh, get more information if you need in regards to the situation so that you can move forward, okay? Uh, and get the strength that you want, okay? That you need to move forward from this situation, okay? So um, from August to September, there's something here that you really need to look into. There's something you're not very comfortable with. You need to look deep into yourself, deep into the situation and see how you can get into this energy where you move forward. Whether it is letting it go or going along with it, okay? So this is something you need, look, need to look into deeper, okay? So there's a situation in your life right now where it's moving along. Yes, it is, but not the way you want it. And there's a lot about it you don't know or there's a lot about it you don't agree with, okay? So this is universe telling you you need to find the answers that you need. You need to dig deep within yourself. And then from that point, Take a choice. Either move forward, take action on it, okay? So, um, Pisces, this is your overall energy for the month of August through September. I'm going to take out some oracle cards for you, some spiritual messages. Maybe they'll help you with whatever you're looking for, you know, in regards to the situation, okay? Remember, the energy is stagnant right now. There's a lot of planetary movement. A lot of things we're unsure about right now. We're trying to make our footings more sure. We're trying to see where we fit what's going on um so just remember that too so maybe by october there will be more situations will be better okay the, from planetary aspect that is okay um so let's shuffle this one more time okay so i need a card for pisces for the month of august to september just one spiritual message here goes one oh, it fell right out let's pick it up <laughs> It says, embrace the moment. It says, embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. Beautiful. That is a beautiful message. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Beautiful. Right. So think positive. Take time to meditate and focus on situations so you can move forward in a better footing. Okay. I'm going to pull out one more card for you. It's going to come from the messages of light. It's always one word in these cards. So let's see what that is. Again, this reading is for the sign of Pisces from August to September. Remember, the energies, astrological energies, are kind of stagnant right now. Things are moving along better than it was the last few months, but not we're not there yet completely. And hopefully by October, October, November, December, we start moving the flow is much better. All right. Okay. I'm an energy feeler, and I feel like those months to go, both planetary and energy wise, is going to be better. All right. All right. Let's see. What's your message? One card message. Oh, got one very quickly. Curiosity. And curiosity with what's going on in your situation, curiosity about your life, curiosity about other individuals, just curious and curious about what's going on in the universe, okay? So maybe you have a lot of curiosity with um, the metaphysical. Let's see. Curiosity. Let's see what that means. It says, the same thing that eludes us or confuses us all, links us all. Curiosity. Curi Curiosity leads to understanding. Follow your interests. Find common ground with people of all backgrounds. So that's your messages for the month of August through September. I hope it resonated with you. Um, there's something you need to make a decision, something you need to feel comfortable with. You need to dig deep a little more, find your, find what it, what it is that you need to move forward in the right direction, Pisces. Okay? Love and light to you all. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.